cloudy afternoon in the dark woods near Andover High School. A dangerous deal is going down. The dealer, Steven, sells his product to an unsuspecting kid, JT. So what is it? It's the best stuff around. So what is it? I'll tell you after you take it. JT starts to experience trouble with his mental capacities. JT cannot pronounce his words. <laughs> he also experiences some confusion. Thanks, man. This stuff's great. What is it? Xanax. JT meets a longtime user of the drug Xanax. Hey, kid, what are you doing here? I got hooked, man. On what? Xanax. Ah, Xanax. That's why I'm here, too. Yeah, you're fine. I don't see what the big deal is with taking it. The big deal is I can't remember a single thing. I can't remember my mom's name, my childhood memories, what I had for breakfast. Hey, kid, what are you in here for? Oh, boy. I wouldn't have taken it if I knew this was going to happen. I gotta stop. JT and Nate started treatment at their rehabilitation at their local center, St. Jean's House. It is day one of rehab. So, why are you here today? I'm here because of Xanax. I don't remember. Oh yeah, Xanax. Okay. Do any of you know what the legal schedule is of Xanax? Nope. I don't even know what that is. Well, it is a four out of a possible five, which concludes that you should stay away from Xanax. Okay, boys? Do any of you know what the active chemical is in Xanax? No. No. Oh, man. Well, it's alprazolam, which is a triazolo analog of the benzodiazepine class of central nervous system active compound. What does that mean? It means Xanax. It's very dangerous. Okay? Okay. 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 So you guys are here to get your minds taken off of Xanax, right? Yup. Now, with that, comes some discipline. Okay? Okay. Now run to the wall and back. Notice how Nate is much slower than TJ for the reason being that Nate has destroyed his health by taking Xanax and soon TJ will become just like him. JT and Nate start their daily study group session. C-A-T. What does that spell? Um. Job. Now, JT, who is the first president of the United States? Okay. Ricky, do you understand why we are doing this? No. We are doing this so that you don't die. We are doing this to give you a second option. We are doing this so that you don't end up in the street living in a nice refrigerated box. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Um, John Adams? JTNA undergo inpatient therapy for another 27 days. Well, JT, we have enjoyed your stay here at Habit OCPO in Boston. During your 30 days, I hope that you have learned that drugs are not something that you should lead your life with. Drugs are dangerous, and you should stay away from them. Thank you, sir. I have definitely learned that. I'm going to be staying away from drugs. Hey, Nate. Great day in the park today, huh? Yeah, I lost my job today. Wait, what? Yeah, I have no money. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I have to go. Nate is by himself with Xanax. I just can't do this anymore.
Nate dies from a drug overdose after five years of being sober. JT gets a call from the rehab center. Hello? Is this JT? Yes, this is JT. I'm calling to tell you that your friend Nate has passed away. What? How? A drug overdose. Xanax. At the funeral. This is the last thing Nate left for us before he died. This never should have happened. Drugs never lead to good things. They never have and they never will. No one should have to die this way, but today it was Nate. Xanax took him today just like when he took it 10 years ago down at Andover High School. Don't make the same mistake he did. Don't be the dead body in the coffin.